Hello everybody, today I'm starting a new series. This series, uh, what I'm doing is I'm going to be um, downloading and playing different uh, SCP Containment Breach mods. I might do it for other games too, but for now it is only SCP Containment Breach. Uh, this first mod is SCP Restart Control Systems. And what basically what it is, is it's, um, well at the time I didn't know much, and I'm not going to spoil it uh, as much, but I'm going to try to just, I don't know, give a, my honest rating, my opinion on it, and then I will, you know, end of the video. So and I will see you now, and yeah, let's get into it. When I first started, I got off to a very bad start. At the beginning, uh, I immediately got deafened by the audio. New game, oh my, ah, the sound effects are bad. Why is it so loud? My god, that siren is going to kill me. Not only was the audio way too loud, but it was also relatively low quality, and in my opinion, the title screen of Containment Breach was just better left alone. Another issue is that a lot of the audio was recycled. In many places, the audio was taken from other games such as Doom, or other mods such as the Ultimate Edition mod. I heard it sound like what happened. Lastly, but most definitely not least with the audio issue, was the surface zone. I do not have any audio samples of gate A, but at gate B the audio was... jacked to say the least. This wraps up uh, every, all the main complaints I have with the audio section, but I have many complaints. I have, there are definitely some good things about it, but in other sections I have a lot more complaints to give because this mod had plenty of issues to comment about. Up next is the lighting. The lighting is kind of minor, but it was also kind of jacked up. I feel like I should note this, because many areas the lighting felt like I made it in Space Engineers after a few seconds. It looks like some of the lights I made, which are just absolutely terrible, and I figured I should just point that out. Another annoying thing is that, what the fuck? Oh, what are these lights? There's a floating duck. As you can see, the lighting in many areas was extremely overbaked. Uh, this happened in a lot more areas than just this, but if I took out all the moments to point out the moments in which the lights just died during the stream, I would completely and utterly, this would take way too long to record. So I'm just going to show those moments. The first main complaint is how in many ways this mod actually took content away from the initial game. For example, in 914 as you can see here, this is just copied from Ultimate Edition as are many other assets. This feels like uh, it was just a mod of Ultimate Edition, but I'm just going to point that out as of now. But as I was going to say, uh, they took a lot of content away from the initial mod. Uh, for example, in 914 as I'm showing on screen here, uh, a lot of the possible combinations are not there. For example, in the original game, you could put a gas mask on fine or very fine, and you would get a... whatchamacallit? What's the thing called? Uh, yeah, you could get infinite sprint while wearing the gas mask. And that's that's the thing. Uh, same thing applied to the SNAV navigator. What you could do is you could put the SNAV on very fine, and it'll get unlimited battery and show you the locations of SCPs on the map. However, both of those functionalities are taken away from 914 here. The next massive issue is in the bugs. This uh, mod was insanely buggy, it had a lot of issues, all of which completely broke the game in many ways. The first one, as shown on screen here, is in 914, if you uh, get an Omni card, which I got extremely lucky and got a uh, first try Omni card. I put the uh, spare cards in very fine, expecting to get an upgraded gas mask and a uh, normal SNAV, as I said earlier, you don't get those. The mod just removed that functionality and instead I got a memory X violation because I got lucky I got an Omni card as it said here level 6 key code which is an Omni key card and it just didn't exist so the game instantly crashed. Another issue of this memory access violation incident is with SCP-001. It has a document lying on the floor beside it and accessing said document instantly crashes the game because they forgot to load the textures for it. Fuck you. 
but basically what happened is they forgot to actually add in the texture for that so it instantly crashes the game it was hilarious <clears throat> so SCP-001 itself was just SCP-1025 the book of diseases from the base game I, I think I don't think that's actually what it was meant to be but they managed to mess that up as well so whenever you access SCP-001 it doesn't do anything for like the first 10 times you access it because it just doesn't load anything in and eventually um, it just gives you SCP-1025's effect which in this case was randomly chosen to be appendicitis it's gay day I gotta get captured by MTF yay I'm done with this mod I'm never playing it again <laughs> um <laughs> it gets worse oh my god it gets worse for this next section i don't actually know if it's a bug or an intended feature what happens is whenever you um i don't know what caused this but i just randomly got a debuff on my blink meter and my stamina meter you could see it individually at the beginning which basically just nerfed the capacity of each by like 80%. So it was healed by SCP-500. I don't know how I got it. I just randomly got it. In the base game, you'd get that by keeping the gas mask equipped for too long. But due to the broken gas mask, I was also bugged. I wasn't wearing it, so I have n absolutely zero clue how I got that debuff. But SCP-500 did fix it, and that was the end of that. All in all, this mod did not add much. The few things it did add, it did not add successfully. Uh, you might see, wait, wait a minute, there are multiple new SCPs, 914 was completely changed. But the few uh, SCPs that were new are literally just copy-pasted from Ultimate Edition. Many of the new rooms, such as the one I'm in, are redesigns from Ultimate Edition. Uh, 008, uh, 106, 079 were all copied from Ultimate Edition as well. And yeah, this was basically just an asset flip of Ultimate Edition. A lot of the doors were changed for no reason. It was just a lot of unnecessary changes. A few changes that were made didn't make much sense and didn't add much to the game. Or actually took away from the game, such as 914, as I mentioned. Uh, it was definitely a subpar mod. I, the few changes it made were not good changes or necessary changes, and it made it barely added any content. Due to these reasons, along with the general bugginess of the game, I would give it a 1.5 out of 10. I, I, I'd probably give it like a 3 out of 10 if it wasn't so brokenly buggy. Like if 001 actually worked and it actually had a function, I'd love that. It would be like the only SCP game which actually has 001. It was a good idea, but due to the fact that 001 is just not functional, the game is barely in a playable state. There are many cases which I could just walk out of the map. It, it, it was easier to leave the map than in the base game. It, it just due to all of this, I'm gonna have to give it a one out of one point five out of ten because it's just not a functional. It's not even functional. I downloaded it expecting it, the main plot of it. It felt aside from the parts where it crashed, it felt like a normal playthrough of Containment Breach. It added barely anything, and the stuff that it did add didn't change much. So it was literally just Ultimate Edition with slightly less combo content. The content that was added was just memory access violations. So that constitutes a 1.5 out of 10 rating. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this rating. I might make more. I, I don't know if I will. This took effort. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. I enjoyed editing it. And yeah. So I will see you all later. Uh, if you enjoyed, don't forget to join the Discord. The link in the description. I ping when you and I go live. I sometimes ping when I make videos. It's if I do make videos. But yeah, I'll see you all next time. And goodbye.